In the words of Sasuke Uchiha himself, I understand now, even if I must take the devil's fruit, I must gain power, I am an avenger. Born into the illustrious Uchiha clan, young Sasuke was cradled in the lap of prestige and power. The Uchiha, known for their unique Sharingan, were one of the most respected clans in the village of Konoha. Sasuke was the youngest son, the baby of the clan, with eyes that held the promise of a future as bright as the clan's legacy. His older brother, Itachi, was a prodigy, the pride and joy of the Uchiha clan. His prowess and intellect were unparalleled, setting a high bar for young Sasuke. Growing up in Itachi's shadow wasn't easy. The expectations were high, the pressure immense, but this was the life of an Uchiha, a life of power, of respect, of responsibility. Little did young Sasuke know his life was about to take a tragic turn. In the blink of an eye, Sasuke's world was shattered. The tranquility of the Uchiha clan's life was abruptly disrupted by a night of unspeakable horror, the Uchiha Massacre. This wasn't a random act of violence but a calculated carnage perpetrated by one of their own. Itachi Uchiha, Sasuke's beloved older brother, was the orchestrator of this massacre. The Uchiha massacre wasn't merely a physical annihilation, but a psychological devastation for Sasuke. Imagine being a child and finding out that your entire family, your entire clan was wiped out in one single night. Now, add the fact that the person responsible for this was none other than your own brother, the person you admired and looked up to. The pain and shock of this revelation were unimaginable, and it left a deep, indelible scar on Sasuke's psyche. This traumatic event was a pivotal moment in Sasuke's life. It molded him, shaped his future decisions, and set him on a path of vengeance. The once cheerful and ambitious boy was now consumed by a dark desire for revenge. His brother's betrayal had not only robbed him of his family, but also his innocence and childhood. But beneath the surface, Sasuke's emotions were more complex than just anger and a thirst for revenge. There was confusion, despair, and a profound sense of loss. He had lost his family, his sense of security, and his faith in the people he loved. He was alone in the world, with only the burning embers of revenge to keep him going. The Uchiha massacre was a defining moment in Sasuke's life. It was the catalyst that propelled him into a world of darkness, a world where vengeance was the only light. The cheerful, ambitious boy was gone, replaced by a vengeful avenger living in the shadow of his brother's heinous act. With his family gone, Sasuke was left with a burning desire for revenge. And thus began the journey of Sasuke Uchiha, the lone survivor of the Uchiha clan, on his path toward vengeance and eventually, redemption. Vengeance became Sasuke's only purpose in life. This single-minded obsession comes to the forefront during his time in the Hidden Leaf Village. Here, Sasuke's journey takes a crucial turn. His training under the tutelage of Kakashi Hatake, one of the most skilled ninjas in the village, begins. This period marks a significant growth in Sasuke's power and abilities. He learns to harness his Sharingan, the unique ocular jutsu of the Uchiha clan, and his combat skills reach new heights. His time in the Hidden Leaf Village also ignites an intense rivalry with Naruto Uzumaki. This rivalry, while initially based on their contrasting personalities and abilities, gradually evolves into a source of determination for Sasuke. Every time Naruto advances, Sasuke feels the urge to outdo him, to prove that he is the superior ninja. This ongoing competition spurs Sasuke's growth, pushing him to strive for greater power. However, the Hidden Leaf Village can only offer so much. Sasuke's thirst for power and his relentless pursuit of revenge lead him down a darker path. He starts to feel that the village is holding him back, that he isn't growing strong enough, fast enough. He yearns for more, for a power that can help him achieve his revenge. And so, he makes a fateful decision that would change his life forever. He leaves the Hidden Leaf Village, the place he once called home, and joins Orochimaru, a man known for his sinister means to acquire power. This decision is a clear testament to Sasuke's unwavering resolve. He is willing to embrace the darkness, to ally himself with a man as dangerous as Orochimaru, all for the sake of his revenge. He is ready to forsake everything, even his humanity, if it means avenging his clan. Sasuke was ready to embrace the darkness for the sake of his revenge. The truth, when revealed, can be a bitter pill to swallow. In a world where secrets are the norm, Sasuke Uchiha's life was flipped upside down when he encountered his brother, Itachi Uchiha, once again. This encounter was not of brotherly love, 
but a confrontation that would unravel the truth behind the Uchiha massacre, the very incident that had set Sasuke on his path of vengeance. A truth so shocking it felt like a kunai to the heart. The Uchiha massacre, the annihilation of his clan, was not a simple act of rebellion. It was a calculated move, orchestrated by the very village Sasuke had sworn to protect, Konoha. The most shocking revelation, Itachi, the sibling he had painted as a villain in his mind, was nothing more than a pawn in this grand scheme. Itachi, the brother he had sought to avenge, was not the monster he had been led to believe. Instead, he was a selfless protector, shouldering the weight of the village's decision, choosing to stain his hands with the blood of his kin for the sake of peace. He chose to be the villain, to give Sasuke a target, a purpose. The revelation was a tough blow, shattering the foundation of Sasuke's revenge. The taste of betrayal was bitter on Sasuke's tongue. The village he had once called home, the place he had vowed to protect, was now the enemy. His feelings of betrayal were mixed with confusion, the lines between right and wrong blurring. The world was not as black and white as he had perceived it to be. The struggle to accept this reality was immense. The rug had been pulled out from under him, leaving him stumbling, trying to find his footing. His path of vengeance, once so clear, was now clouded with doubt and uncertainty. But it was this very uncertainty that led him to question his motives, his purpose. With the truth revealed, Sasuke's path of vengeance took a new direction. Every sinner has a future, just as every saint has a past. This statement rings true when we delve into the redemption of Sasuke Uchiha, a character whose journey is marked by a complex web of emotions, personal tragedies, and eventual salvation. Like a phoenix rising from the ashes, Sasuke's transformation is a testament to his resilience and strength. His journey towards redemption is not a linear path. It's a winding road filled with battles against the enemies of the hidden leaf, each one a stepping stone towards his evolution. Sasuke's redemption is marked by a series of pivotal turning points, each one a testament to his growing sense of responsibility and his shifting allegiances. His battles are no longer driven by personal vengeance but by a desire to protect the village that once was his home. But perhaps the most significant battle Sasuke faces is his final showdown with Naruto. This isn't just a physical battle, it's an emotional and ideological clash, a battle of wills that forces Sasuke to confront his own inner demons. The fight is fierce and fraught with tension, but it ultimately culminates in Sasuke's decision to protect the village, a stark contrast to his previous desire for its destruction. This decision signifies a monumental shift in Sasuke's character. He's no longer the Avenger driven by hate, he's now the protector, the guardian of the hidden leaf. This transformation is not just a testament to his physical strength but also to his mental and emotional fortitude. But Sasuke's redemption is not just about his transformation, it's also about his reconciliation with Naruto. Despite their differences and their tumultuous past, Sasuke and Naruto find common ground, a testament to their shared experiences and their shared desire to protect the hidden leaf. From an avenger driven by hate, Sasuke had transformed into a protector, a testament to his resilience and strength. Sasuke's redemption is a testament to his character's evolution, his journey from a sinner with a past to a saint with a future. Sasuke Uchiha's story is one of pain, loss, vengeance, and ultimately, redemption. This tale, woven intricately with threads of despair and hope, charts the course of a young boy who bore the weight of an entire clan's tragedy. From the ashes of his tormented past, Sasuke emerged as a figure of vengeance, his heart set on avenging his clan. But as his journey unfolded, he was confronted with the bitter truth behind his clan's downfall, a revelation that shook him to his very core. This marked a turning point, a shift from a path of revenge to a course of redemption. His transformation wasn't immediate or easy, it was a grueling process, filled with trials and tribulations. Yet in his struggle, Sasuke found the strength to protect those he once sought to destroy. His story serves as a beacon, illuminating the fact that no matter how far one has strayed, there's always a way back. In the end, Sasuke Uchiha's story teaches us that even in the darkest of times, there is always a path towards redemption.